And can you just briefly explain how that emergency use authorization differs from an FDA approval and what that means? Well, you know, the truth is we've not really done emergency use authorizations for anything like this before, for a vaccine given to a large segment of the U.S. population. And it's being done based on the fact that typically the approval process uh, can take up to a year. And when you're going towards 2,000 deaths per day, you do the math, right? And, and nobody wants to see that happen. So uh, this, is, this was done is uh, to reflect the uh, uh, emergency situation that we're in, number one. But number two, it's really important to point out that Stephen Hahn and the FDA have really worked hard the last few months to make that emergency use authorization close, uh, closely approximate the full approval process as possible. So the clinical trials have not been compromised. These are large clinical trials. Safety is being carefully evaluated. Uh, the man, and what, one of the things that they've done to move things along is the warp speed part is not so much the clinical trials. It's the, uh, it's, it's the inspection of all the manufacturing facilities, uh, looking at the integrity of the manufacturing process. And my understanding is that the FDA has been in those plants all, all along. So it's as opposed to in the past when you would wait for the whole thing to be, the whole dossier to be submitted, and then you would start looking at the manufacturing and everything else. This has all been being done in parallel. So there's no compromise in safety. Uh, I have a, a high regard for the integrity of the process, and it's going to be really important to get those vaccines.